battle over abortion access moving from Indiana to Illinois. Lawyers representing anti-abortion pregnancy centers expected to appear before a federal judge in Rockford tomorrow. This just a day after a new abortion restriction went into effect across the border in Indiana. WGN's Julian Cruz with the latest developments. Hi, Julian. Hey, Mike and Ray. The Thomas More Society representing NIFLA, the National Institute of Family and Life Advocates, expected to file for an injunction tomorrow asking a federal judge in Rockford to block the Illinois Attorney General from enforcing Senate Bill 1909, which anti-abortion proponents say is unconstitutional. So uh, it has a very chilling effect on our pregnancy centers because they don't define what is deceptive. NIFLA and attorney yes. Ann O'Connor says it's a matter of free speech. With help from the conservative Thomas More Society filing a lawsuit last week focused on Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul and the new Illinois Senate Bill 1909. Pregnancy centers should be free to serve women and offer the support they need without fear of unjust government punishment. Portions of Senate Bill 1909 aimed at preventing what pro-choice supporters and other critics say has been a pattern of deceptive practices when it comes to religious-based pregnancy help ministries. But according to Planned Parenthood and others, the help centers too often disguising their facilities as women's health centers, an allegation NIFLA denies. Definitely, it is a free speech issue because they're regulating how we can advertise. And, and we've had free speech issues with pregnancy centers before. O'Connor pointing to similar Thomas More Society legal victories in California and elsewhere, but others reacting to other developments. The people that we're supporting are low-income working class people. Illinois-based Allison Dreith with the nonprofit Midwest Access Coalition working to help pregnant women travel to other states where abortion is legal. Instead of paying for the abortion procedure itself, we pay and book for things like travel, accommodations, child care, food. With Indiana's near total abortion ban going into effect yesterday, Illinois abortion providers seeing a surge. It's already been impacting Illinois, Indiana, and Kentuckians. 800 out-of-state clients seeking help from the Midwest Access Coalition in 2021. That number swelling to over 1,600 women last year, they say. And at the current pace, an estimated 3,240 pregnant women expected to travel to Illinois before the year is over. I think there's going to be a generational impact here on these abortion bans. Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul in a written statement saying, quote, the new law expressly acknowledges the right to hold and communicate deeply held beliefs about abortion, but makes it clear that fraudulent and deceptive practices are not allowed. I will continue to defend the right of patients in Illinois to make their own reproductive health decisions based on timely and accurate information, free from unconscionable interference, deception, and unfair practices. Lawyers for the Illinois Attorney General and the Thomas More Society expected to face off tomorrow at the U.S. District Federal Courthouse in Rockford. Julian Cruz, WGN News.